Well, tomorrow, NASA set to release the findings of a heavily anticipated report on unidentified anomalous phenomena, also known as UAPs. Now, it comes as Mexico holds its first ever hearing on UFOs, with scientists putting on display what they claim are the remains of two extraterrestrials. News Nation's Joe Khalil joins us live with these developments. Uh, Joe, this is some big news. Yeah, Kelly, we've got big news on multiple fronts here globally on the UFO story. So let's start with NASA that you referenced off the top here. Tomorrow, the agency is going to be releasing its findings on UAPs. Because of significantly increased reports and sightings, last year, NASA put together this team to study the phenomenon, figure out what's real, what we know, and what is still a mystery. And after almost a full year, we are going to finally get that report tomorrow. Now, before that, uh, we expect NASA officials, including the head of the agency, Administrator Bill Nelson, they will be briefing reporters on their finding as well. We are going to hopefully be there, be able to ask our questions. We spoke exclusively today to UFO researcher and filmmaker James Fox about his expectations for NASA's upcoming report tomorrow. Here's what he told us. Initially, my expectations were somewhat high because of the, the, the statements that Bill Nelson's been making, the head of NASA. He was making very compelling statements on the difficulty to, to explaining some of these unidentified aerial objects that defy physics as we understand it. You know, he acknowledged the tic tac. He said he'd met with the pilots and that they couldn't explain what that thing was or where it came from. So uh, then when I found out that they were not going to have access to the classified files, my expectations lowered quite significantly. So we're anticipating that. Meantime, there is this. In Mexico this week, congressional hearings focused on UAP sightings, much like we had in the U.S. Congress back in July. And this right here sort of stole the show. This is according to a prominent Mexican UFO journalist and researcher. These are two non-human corpses, both at least a thousand years old, discovered in Peru back in 2017 and then fossilized. Now, look, there is a lot of skepticism here about whether these are real, whether this is legitimate. We ourselves can't verify any of this, so we are skeptical about what we're seeing here at News Nation when it comes to the origins of these things in this video. Nonetheless, these displays were a part of a legitimate Mexican congressional hearing. Ryan Graves, the former Navy pilot who actually testified before the U.S. Congress back in July, he was also there sharing his story and his experiences with UAPs, Kelly. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of work still having to go into whether or not these things are real. Mexico's Congress debating whether they're going to be enhancing a law that would essentially make Mexico the first country on earth to um, say explicitly that they believe in extraterrestrial life. So a lot happening just south of our border there, Kelly. All right, you can understand the skepticism. Joe Khalil, yeah. thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.